mean, there are so many religions, but then Krishna Sarva Dharma and Parityacha. Give up all those varieties of religion. We, we end up translating dharma as religion, but that's not... Religion is not dharma. Religion is something, something called dharma. But anyway, dharma samsthapanarthaya. So Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, while traveling around all over, again I was going to say India, but then better to say Bharat, right? He was traveling all over Bharat, Mahabharat. You heard of my That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Bharata Bhumite Manusha Janma Huila Jar. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not say, India Bhumite. Hmm? Yeah, this is again name given by someone else, India. As name Hindu is also given by someone else, it is not original name of our dharma. Our dharma is Sanatan dharma, Bhagavad dharma, not Hindu dharma. So, uh, Mahaprabhu is traveling all over Bharat, Varsha, India. Bharat is much greater, huh? global, globally spread. So that Gauranga Mahaprabhu, chanting and dancing, Mahaprabhu Kirtana, Nritya and Gita and Vaditriya, what is Vaditriya? The drums and hand symbols. So Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is performing Kirtan, chanting, dancing. Instruments are being played. And as all this happens, Romancha, Romancha, something happens. It's expected to happen uh, as one chants and hears and, well, dancing is also a symptom. Why is he dancing? Because he's chanting. Hence he's dancing. And as he chants and dances, what else happens? Romancha, his bodies. Trembling. Not because he's scared of something. So that Gauranga Mahaprabhu, when he arrived in Pandarpur, Well, he did take holy dip in Chandrabhaga Maya Khe, which is non different from Ganga. Hi, Ganga. Tuja Charani Cha Ganga. Bhimani Chandrabhaga. Tuja Charani Cha Ganga. Bhima Ani Chandra Bhaga. So there are several names for this holy river, sacred 
Chandrabhaga. Bhima is one name. It originates in a place called Bhima Shankar in Hima, not Himalayan, Sahyadri Mountain. Sahyadri, you heard of Sahyadri? Sahya. Tolerant, tolerant mountain, Sahya. Sehan Seal. So there's a place, I think some distance away from Pune, huh? and that's where there's a Shankar and same thing as the top of Himalayan mountain. Shankar becomes Gangadhar, hmm? the holder of Ganga. He holds Ganga and then Ganga from there flows further and then go muk and towards Ganga Sagar. So something similar here also, this is Shiva. And from the matted locks of hair, this Chandrabhaga originates, begins flowing and comes here in the direction of direction of Pandarpur. Pandarpur Dham, okay. And uh, as it gets closer, it flows like a Chandra Akar, Ardha Chandra Akar. You understand, right? This is better than, it's got translation and all that. Ardha, Ardha you understand. What is Ardha? Half. Chandra, you understand. Akar, uh, shape. So around Pandarpur, it flows like that. So Chandra Akar or Chandra Bhag. Bhag means portion. Hmm? Portion of the moon, not the full moon, but part or portion of the moon. So Chandra Bhaga flows like that. Oh, no, Bhima flows like that. Hence it gets name. What? Chandra Bhaga. Maya Ki. So, uh, so Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did take holy dip in Chandra Bhaga. Did you do so? No? People of Bangalore. Huh? That's the last thing to do. <laughs> All right. Here, here or everywhere else, the first business is uh, they run to the holy river or a holy ghat or holy kund or holy sarovar, holy, holy. Uh, Yeah, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and then he, he ran, he ran towards Pandurang, Vittal, Vittal. In Marathi, the brick, brick is called wheat. In Hindi, they call eat. In Hindi, eat, Marathi, wheat. And one who stands on the wheat is Vital. So Lord is standing on the brick. As he had arrived here for the first time, Lord came from Dwarka looking for Rukmini. Rukmini! Like a Sita. As Ram was looking for Sita all over, starting from Godavari, uh, the, that uh, yeah. Nasik and uh, Panchavati. Uh, 
uh, which is not far from here. Nasik is part of Maharashtra, as you know. There's a river Godavari, and Nasik is also another. Uh, yeah, one of the four places where Kumbh Mela is held. Nasik is one of those on the bank of Godavari. Lord Sri Ram spent, anyway, I'm, I'm going all over. Huh? I'm just floating. <laughs> so, uh, so Lord Dwarkadish was looking for Rukmini. Well, I should say this also. Maybe you do not know, but as you have come to Maharashtra, then you should take note that uh, Rukmini was born in Maharashtra. Place called Kundinpur. In Marathi, we call Kundinyapur, but Shukde Goswami said Kundinpur. In Vidarbha state, Vidarbha part of Maharashtra, Rukmini was born. So, uh, so as uh, Gujaratis, Gujaratis, listen to this, Gujaratis say, Krishna is Gujarati. So Maharashtrians say, Rukmini is Maharashtrian. In fact, Lord has nothing to do with huh? Gujarat or Maharashtra. This would be offensive. Uh, this is one of the 10 offenses also. Hmm? There, are ten, uh, there are 10 offenses against the holy name. You know them, right? Thus, thus Nam Abrad. So likewise, there are ten dhama paras also. And one of them is to consider dham, dham, Vrindavan dham ke, or Mayapur dham ke, Ayodhya dham ke, Pandarpur dham ke, Dwarka dham ke, Kundinapur dham ke, to consider these dhams as part of some, some province, some state, is offense against the dham. These dhams have nothing to do, really nothing to do with this world, in fact, or with, with, uh, with the earth. Because one day, one day, earth would be finished. And the Mahapralaya happens, total annihilation. There's no more Uttar Pradesh, or no more Gujarat, hmm? no more Bangalore, or Kolhapur, or Nagpur. But these dhams, they continue to exist. This is not part of Brahma's creation. There is also understanding in for Pandarpur also they say when when this world did not exist, Pandarpur existed. And there will be time this world will come to an end, Pandarpur will continue to exist. And this applies to Vrindavan, Mayapur, Jagannathpur, and like like that. So uh, so Rukmini <coughs> was upset one time with her dear husband. Dwarkadish ki. The differences as no, wife, husband, having differences, this is a daily affair. No? Right, wrong? I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> But we get to hear the bickering and quarreling and 
So that happened to, uh, yeah, between Rukmini and Dwarkadish also. Anyway, I, I don't know how much to tell you. <laughs> I wish I had how many mouths? At least ten mouths. Each mouth talking, different topic about Pandarpur or about Pandurang. And something I could have managed, but unfortunately I have only one mouth. <clears throat> and we have only one hour. Soon you are going to be looking at the watches. When is Maharaj going to stop, you know? Oh, I have a serious question. I have a serious question. One time, this is Radha Govind Maharaj was giving, doing his Bhagavad Katha, Radha Govind Maharaj. And uh, Katha was Maharaj was absorbed in narrating Katha and then more question and answers and Prashnottar and all that was going on and on and more and more devotees were asking questions and Maharaj was give, giving befitting, befitting answers and then and one person said, Maharaj, did I scare you? I have a question. Okay, what's your question? <laughs> and that person said, Maharaj, Katha was announced, hmm? you know, from 5 to 7 o'clock p.m., 5 to 7. But it is 10 o'clock now. <laughs> when is this going to end? And that was a Maharaj said, this must be some serious question. I have a question, I have a question. When is this going to end? So, uh, hurry, hurry. So, Dwarkadish came looking for Rukmini. He was traveling all over, riding in a chariot. Hmm? His Dwarkadish. So uh, driving and driving, uh, he ended up on the bank of Chandrabhaga. There's a place called Dindirvan. Dindirvan, which is in fact across the river from where Prabhupada Ghat is, just the other side, almost, almost across other bank of the river. And Dwarkadish found Rukmini there. And he did make attempt to pacify her. But in first round of talks, he did not have complete success. He was able to manage you know, some pacification happened. <clears throat> so the Lord decided, okay, I'll, I'll get back to you, Rukmini. And then he took off and went to another location, not far from Dindirvan, to meet a great devotee called Pundalik. Lord had promised him, I, I will see you, I will see you. It's promise. I will meet you. This is some previous promise that Lord had made to Pondalik. So as Lord arrives at the door, hmm? 
May I come in? But Pundalik was busy serving his devotee, I must, I should say that, devotee, devoted parents. Yes. They were elderly and they needed a lot of attention and care and he was busy serving them. So uh, Pundalik, well he turned around, I'm sure he saw who the guest was, but because he was in the middle, he had not finished his services. So he, uh, there was a brick around, around him, and he kind of threw that in direction of his V, 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 I, P guest. <laughs> May you stand and wait here. I'll, I'll get back to you. So that is what Lord did. Lord stood on that brick and hence he became known as Vitala 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 Panduranga, 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 Panduranga. So, uh, really. And as I say, Panduranga, I think you got some idea why he is called Vital. Uh, right, something you get to know. Of course, that brick was not from some brick factory around here. That was someone who was cursed to become brick. And whenever Lord comes and touches you, you'll be freed. Huh? from this curse of being or becoming or getting trapped in the brick. So those details are there with our Bove Kunt. Yeah, we have, we have a book. I'm just, you could get more details from this Bove Kunt under Bove book, which is also in English we have. We have in English also, and Hindi also, and huh? Kannada also. Hey, is it here? Huh? Telugu also, okay. This for you? And I'm doing a little commercials here. Be nice if you could go back with the book, do some shopping, and then you could know more. Hmm? As we have limited time, so we can't talk about everything. The so Panduranga, as I was saying, Panduranga, Panduranga. Radha Pandrinath ki. So there's a, a Riscon style name, Brother Pandarinath. <laughs> Radha and Pandarinath. But then that Pandarinath has to be Krishna.
and he is krishna radha pandarinath pandarinath is krishna well what about dwarkadesh well what i meant is vrindavan krishna hmm? radha radha only goes with vrindavan krishna so vital he has come from dwarka so he, he is not krishna <laughs> anyway sorry to say this but uh, no this technical technically is dwarka dish krishna then uh, okay so in dwarka krishna becomes dwarka dish and radharani becomes who oh. now satyabama radha becomes satyabama and chandravali becomes radharani ah uh, what did i say yeah chandravali becomes rukmini at least these two then there are as there are ashta sakhis in vrindavan there are ashta pataranis in dwarka and also so that is eight of them there are 16108 right 16100 so those queens are also originally gopis of vrindavan right now during this month month of margashirsh hemante prathame prathame masi anyway this is another little side tracking <laughs> Uh, during this month month of margashirsh gopis they worship katyayani in vrindavan on the bank of jamuna at the place called chirghat and during the worship they were all praying to katyayani and what was the prayer nand gopasutam devi patim me kurute namaha this was their prayer he devi katyayani which is parvati mahamaya adhishwari like there are so many addresses sambodhans are there for katyayani and the prayer is nand gopasutam patim me kurute namaha let son of nand maharaj be our pati our husband so those prayers were heard why katyayani and uh, they did end up becoming wives of son of nand maharaj or son of vasudev krishna and so they become the queens of of the lord right so i was just explaining krishna becomes dwarkadish and radha is becoming <clears throat> yeah radha is becoming satya mama and chandravali becomes rukmini ah uh, like that so uh, <clears throat> okay so uh, 
okay panduranga i wanted to say about the panduranga 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 so we tell you get to know and then we said about our radha pandarinath so name is pandarinath but he is he is vrindavan krishna because uh, dark radha is with him <clears throat> and lord is also called yeah vetal is called pandurang as there is a pandarpur there is also gopalpur next to pandarpur hmm? they are yeah like a outskirts of pandarpur are uh, just they're back to back hmm? gopalpur pandarpur did you go to gopalpur no i'm not going to ask you <laughs> more question did you go here did you go there did you go the so, uh, gopalpur is is like a gokul gopalpur gopal krishna kanaya lalaki so as krishna takes care or does the herding of the cows in vrindavan and they are big in number right they are big in number how many cows 900000 cows and these are krishna's cows not krishna's cows really they are nanda maharaja's cows that is his father's property huh? not and then the friends also have their cows and as the cows graze and then walking and as they walk the the dust of braj dust of braj ke is very fine and light and you know the complexion color of the braj raj also yeah is yeah what kind of color would you say sri krishna chaitanya swami transcendent color. color okay <laughs> good your tact for so uh, so as this as the cows walk sometimes they run also with the the hoof hooves of the cows a lot of dust is raised in vrindavan so dust goes up and then finally dust comes down and settles everywhere including your settles on covered boys on krishna his hair his face on his clothing everything is covered with the dust of braj braj raj so when you see krishna with that bus the the braj raj all over then you would call hey here is pandurang here is who is he he is a pandurang rang is what color what kind of color pandu like a pandu maharaj pandu you know the father of the pandavas he was named pandu because complexion of his skin was pandu color pandu pale pale yellow pale so that's why krishna here or vithal here is called what panduranga 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 
So uh, you know, he is is Dwarka Desh. He is from Dwarka, and because Rukmini is here, you had darshan of Rukmini also, right? <clears throat> but I don't know whether you had darshan of uh, Radharani. Yes, on the altar. After darshan of Rukmini, you come out uh, from the side entrance. I don't know what kind of, what you have to go through. <laughs> Lots of barriers. So, uh, there's a darshan of Satya Bhama and Rukmini also. Of course, Satya Bhama is from Dwarka. But Radharani is from Vrindavan. So main temple of Pandurang Vithal has Radharani also uh, on, the, on the, yeah, along with Rukmini. So this is Vrindavan Krishna. He plays that role hmm, as Vrindavan Krishna. And if you could manage, but these days things have this rascal, oh rascal, corona, demon, hmm? virus, right? Virus, invisible enemy of the mankind has changed. A lot of things have been changed. So, uh, during normal times, you could attend Mangalarthi of Pandurang Vithal. Very special darshans. Uttishta Uttishta Govinda Trailokya Mangalam Kuru like that, the Lord is woken up. You get to hear the priest is waking up, Lord. And Arti is performed. You get to sit five feet away from the lotus feet of the deity. And of course, after after Arti and the dress dressing, Shrangar Darshan, then you could go and you could touch the lotus feet of the deity. This is very exceptional arrangement. Very few temples in India. You could count on your fingers. Shirchor Gopinath and uh, Badrikashram. There are few, only few temples where you could touch the deity, or they allow you to touch the deity. So here, that you could do. But again, the times have jamana badal gaya, hmm? kalyu agya. Otherwise, some few hundred years ago, if you had come and you come for darshan of the deity, you would not go away from from the deity before you would hug the deity, uh, hold the deity, embrace the deity. You could see there, if you could, we have a little relief. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, 
పాండురంగ పాండురంగ గౌరంగ పాండురంగ గౌరంగ పాండురంగ గౌరంగ 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 పాండురంగ గౌరంగ పాండురంగ గౌరంగ గౌరంగ పాండురంగ 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 and so you could see and he had just started embracing he's going to you know going to get up and uh, going to give a hmm? deep hug to so that was so the relationship of the devotees and the lord here is very very intimate very intimate there's no distancing <laughs> no social distancing <laughs> no spiritual distancing you could you get to see maybe i don't know whether you managed to see but you get paintings in pandarpur paintings and one particular painting you see the lord some devotees have climbed up his shoulders huh some are some devotees like a, you hold the children huh ladies do one child this side another devotee this side is holding some are holding his dhoti me too me too me too please so uh vithu maaja le kurvaala sange gopalan cha mela vithu maaja le kurvaala nice song this one line i sang vithu maaja le kurvaala could you say that vithu maaja vithu maaja le kurvaala alo you can say right alo 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 is okay you are you are okay with alo okay good only in few languages you could manage saying alo come on alo udi as they say we maharashtrians or marathi walas also say alo vithu maaja le kurvaala sange gopalan cha mela so lord is known as lekurwala lekurwala is a very typical marathi word lekurwala lek lekur lekur means children so lady with lots of children ashta putra saubhagyavati hmm var kana saubhagya ashta putra you may have eight children which was very common you know having a dozen children i even now i know some families in mauritius here there so uh, but now hum do hamare oh acha <laughs> we got the message so china was the first one to go for hum do hamara ek hamari ek so some 20 30 years ago it was hum do hamare hamare bhi do hum do hamare do now is only but uh, so lekurwala so one when the family or ladies and gentlemen wife and husband has lots of children then that lady is called lekurwali lekurwali lots of children 
or gentleman with yeah, lukur, lekur wala. So Lord here, Vithal Pandurang, is known as lekur wala, meaning you understand now. What is a lekur wala? With lots of, lots of children. Now, how many children is lots of children for the Lord? Huh? Well, that's one reply. Could it be more precise? No, that's the that's a different thing. These are wives. Uh, what about us? Are we children or or not? Yes. So how many children Lord has? As many living entities are there, those many, they are all his children. So he is really Lekurwala. Hmm? There is no one as Lekurwala as, as Lord Pandurang or Vithal. Vithumasa Lekurwala Sange Gopala Ansamega. <clears throat> so I was talking about Mangalarti, which we call here as Kakadarti, Kakadarti. And uh, so after the Arti's performance, they do Abhishek of the deity. And again, you get to sit there. Curtain is not closed. And you could watch the deity being undressed and bathed and dressed again and oh it's quite a quite a treat, as they say, quite a treat for your eyes. Yeah, we could easily say the netrotsa. It's a feast for your eyes to sit right in front of the deity for few hours and watch all the transcendental rituals, uh, including Abhishek. And then what happens? The middle of Abhishek, the Lord is being bathed, huh? Dugdha Abhishek and this Abhishek, that Abhishek, huh? Ushna Sna, Ushna, uh, warm water. So they stop in the middle, the Abhishek suddenly stops and someone rushes with a big, what? Ball. Big ball of butter. And it is, that ball is held to his mouth and Lord is eating. And while he is eating, they are doing another arati. Because this is his uh, makanchori, stealing butter, pastime time. So we say during the middle of the Abhishek of the deity, Pandurang, the tell deity, they feed big ball of butter, fresh butter. So that proves that he is, uh, is Dwarkadish, Krishna. At the same time, he is Krishna Kanaya Lalakhe. He is Vrindavan, Krishna or Gopal Krishna. So there's a Gopalpur and another pastime. Gopal Puri is on the, on the top of a hill, and that hill is supposed to be Govardhan Hill. There's also uh, Jamuna is flowing, and Jamuna and Chandrabhaga confluence Sangam is also here. And uh, like that. 
So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited this wonderful dham and spent a lot of time here. And he did a lot of chanting and dancing, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, as he I think maybe he was honoring prasadam at uh, at some yeah Brahmin Pandarpur Brahmin's place. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to know that who is in the town? Sri Rangapuri. Sri Rangapuri is in town, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard. Who is Sri Rangapuri? Madhavendra Puri's disciple, Sri Rangapuri. Madhavendra Puri's disciple is also Ishwar Puri. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Ishwar Puri's disciple. So, his god brother of his spiritual master, Sri Rangapuri, was in town. As he heard Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ran, rushed, to meet Sri Rangapuri. Anyway, the meeting also was very extraordinary as they had seen each other the way they did vancha kalpataru bhishya kripa sindhu bhevacha padidana bhavanebhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha is madhvinda puri realized that this person i do not know exactly who this one is sri rangapuri did not know chaitanya mahaprabhu But he did come to conclusion that he, this person must have some Gaudiya connection, Gaudiya Vaishnav. From his bhav and Hari that is how Sri Rangapuri concluded. So they, they both sat down and they had a long, long talk, dialogue, katha, hari katha. Long, long, I said, so how long do you think? Two hours, three hours? One week, that's right. For seven days, they spent, seven days they spent together. Machittaha, Madhagata Pranaha, Bodhayantaha, Parasparam. They were sharing both instructions, Krishna's Upadesh or Krishna Katha. Kathayanta Shyamam Nityam Tushyanti Cha Ramanti Cha They were totally absorbed for seven days, seven nights. And then, so this is also something that one should do as one comes to the holy, holy dham. What one should do? This satsang, association of devotees. In association of devotees, in association of devotees, what happens? 
सताम प्रसंगा मम वीर संविद संवाद बिगिन्स और ठाक बिगिन्स मम वीर दिस इज कपिल लॉर्ड कपिल इज टॉकिंग to mother devhuti says mama virya samvid i become the topic when the devotees get together i become the topic they talk about me talk about my virya or shaurya or saundarya like that so many things to talk about sri radhika madhava yora par madhurya leela गुण रूप नाम नाम प्रतीक्षण आस्वादन लोलुपश्च वंदे गुरो श्री चरणारविंदम सो दिस इज व्हाट डिवोडीज डू व्हेन दे गेट टुगेदर सो स्पेशली एज कम्स टू द होली धाम ऑन यात्रा दिस इज मोस्ट एसेंशियल थिंग टू डू बट नॉर्मली व्हाट दे डू इज which you did not do but normally that's what they do when they come to the holy place for sure they take holy bath the holy dip is must but what they do not do is lot of time is what we are doing right now right here and this was mentioned by lord krishna in kurukshetra at the time of sun eclipse surya grahan and so many 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 millions of pilgrims had come to take a holy dip in surya kund in uh, oh, there are many kundas in kurukshetra so that time so many sages came to to the camp where krishna and balram and residents of dwarka also had come for a holy dip and that time uh, shri krishna said what did he say yattirtha buddhi yattirtha buddhi salile na karhichit na janeshu abhigeshu sa eva gokharah this other part also in the beginning but this this later half ya tirtha buddhi salile people come on yatra on a pilgrimage but then they limit their yatra to what salile salil means water just take a holy dip ah ho gaya yatra ho gayi then do a little shopping buy some sweets or some and running to the next uh, the train station or airport or whatever so those who do this they have not done this shravanam kirtanam bodhiyantah parasparam and then hari katha and some vidho mama virya samvido just took the holy dip only na janeshu abhigeshu for those who are the knowledgeable persons in their dham knowledgeable about knowledgeable about the lord or the board the dham or tatva siddhant leela they do not approach them but they only approach some holy tirth a holy <coughs> river or kund so they are compared to go and kara what is go i would better say bull ha huh? yeah go also means bull It's family why say cow this uh, hmm? not nice to say they are compared to the cow that is good <laughs> that's compliment <laughs> compliment but here dull headed bull hmm? 
passionate bull and go and khara khara is donkey hmm? ass so uh, <clears throat> hari hari so i will just run through this quickly chaitanya mahaprabhu and uh, who is here sri rangapuri is here they are talking you know unfortunately unfortunately we don't have the whole dialogue available it's not there's no it's not recorded now we have everything is audio recording video recording this recording that recording but uh, anyway krishnadas kaviraj goswami also was very old as you know hmm? while he was writing his hands were trembling not able to see and he does say from time to time i had to summarize this i had to skip this i wish to complete this project so he doesn't cover everything so we don't have the details of that dialogue i wish we had there's a better dialogue of conversation between chaitanya mahaprabhu and ramanand rai that we know also sanat san, sanatan sanatan huh? right yeah sanatan goes on sanatan samvad samvad sanatan what do they call it sanatan shiksha sanatan shiksha chaitanya mahaprabhu's dialogue with sanatan goswami in varanasi chaitanya mahaprabhu's dialogue with rupa goswami in prayagraj and like that some other dialogues are available at least in some shape form but uh, the dialogue that took place here we don't have the records so after that dialogue was coming to an end we are also coming to an end of our presentation just for you to know so that you don't ask krishna maharaj i have a question so uh, <clears throat> so uh, sri rangapuri he said to chaitanya mahaprabhu here in pandarpur as they were meeting that he had visited navadvip mayapur along with madhvendra puri madhvendra puri had visited and sri rangapuri was with him and they both were the guests of jagannath mishra and sachi mata okay got that much and uh, then that uh, jagan mata is a jagan mata sachi sachi mata she fed us such a wonderful sumptuous prasad especially that day she had cooked banana ka kya leaves and uh, not leaves the name for their sabji or corn i'm not a bengali so so uh, he said uh, 
you know, I, I cannot forget that nice curry hmm, that Sachi Mata had cooked. Ah, oh, they took such a nice care of us as if we were their children. And when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard this, that you and Madhvendra Puri were visiting Mayapur, Navadvip, and you went to Jagannath Mishra, and Sachimata fed you. Oh, you know, that's my mother you're talking about. And Jagannath Mishra, my father. So for seven days they were talking, but they had not talked about, how are you, and uh, where are you from, and how is the climate, and Bazar Bhav, Bazar Bhav, the rate of this, and I, uh, yeah, no, these thoughts did not occur, they, yeah, no concern or so only towards the end there's some kind of introduction happening or something of that sort and then this uh, Sri Rangapuri also said that we found out as we were visiting Um, the uh, Jagannath Mishra Sashimata's home, that their eldest elder son had taken sannyas. And then Sri Rangapuri is mentioning to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and that he had become, so that elder son is, what is his name? But earlier he was. Vishwarup. Vishwambar's elder brother is Vishwarup. So Vishwarup, when he took sannyas, his name became Shankararanya Swami. So Sri Ranga, uh, Sri, uh, yeah. He said <laughs> that this Shankararanya Swami had come to Pandarpur. He was in Pandarpur. Shankarane Swani, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's elder brother, after taking sannyas. In fact, you know, like this, the katha drags on. I'm remembering something else. At the time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, he wanted to leave for South India. He wanted to leave Jagannath Puri. He said, hey, you know, I have to go, I have to go, you know, I must go. Why do you have to go? He said, my brother has taken sannyas and he's traveling somewhere in South India. I better go find him. Would you please allow me to go and look for my brother? Okay, okay, uh, that's, that makes sense. You may go. So the very purpose, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said, my purpose of traveling to South India was to look for my, find my brother. So here, upon arrival, and then talking with Sri Rangapuri, he found out that his elder brother had taken, of course, taken sannyas, and his name was Shankarana Swami. And here is the crux of the matter. You should remember this. It's not, not much to remember, but just take note of this, that uh, Shankarane Swami, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's elder brother, he left the planet. He, he wound up his pastimes. He's also Lord. Balaram Hoila Nithai. Balaram becomes Nityanand Prabhu. And also Balram becomes Vishwarup. 
Of course, the full manifestation of Balaram is Nityanand, and some kind of partial, we could say partial manifestation of Balaram is Vishwarup, huh? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's elder brother. Krishna's elder brother is Balaram, Balaram, Krishna Balaram. So here, Vishwarup is Balaram. Daujika Bhaiya. Daujika Bhaiya. Krishna Kanaya. Daujika Bhaiya. So these two brothers. So this Vishwarup, he departed from this world. From Pandarpur Dham, okay? So this is another glorious thing that happened in Pandarpur. And this is uh, this way. Pandarpur has a very strong Gaudiya connection. And I will just just say this and just say that and just say that. <laughs> How are you like that? <clears throat> At Nityanand Prabhu also visited Pandarpur. Here you go. Nityanand Prabhu also visited, or well, he has to visit. Because his Balaram, Hoila, Nitai. Balaram, didn't Balaram travel all over India? Yes or no? At the time of the Kurukshetra battle, Krishna stayed on well, in Kurukshetra, but Balaram did not participate in the battle. What was he doing? He was traveling all over Bharat Varsha. Now that Balaram has become Nityanand Prabhu and he's also traveling. He has to travel, he's Balaram. So traveling all over, Nityanand Prabhu also comes to Pandarpur and something very significant thing happened to Balaram and Nityanand Prabhu here. And what is that? Nityanand Prabhu took initiation in Pandarpur. Arriba! Lakshmipati Tirtha becomes his spiritual master. Lakshmipati Tirtha is in the line of Madhva, Madhvacharya line, Lakshmipati Tirtha. And Nityanand Prabhu becomes his disciple. And of course, Madhvinda Puri also had become his disciple. So this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityanand Prabhu, Vishwaru. They all had come to Pandarpur, spent time here, performed their leelas here. So, uh, I don't know, again, you visited, we have a footprints of Chaitanya, Nityanand, and Vishwarup installed underneath that big banyan tree. You could go there for darshan and prayers. Ari, ari. And then we have built Srila Prabhupada's Ghat Ki. Lots of pilgrims come here to Pandarpur. And first thing they do is, what do they do? They take path. <laughs> so, uh, so there was no proper facility or place or clean place for baths or holy dip. Snan. So, uh, Iskand took leadership. All other ghats are about 200, 300, several hundred year old, and somehow Chandrabhaga is 
is flowing from our side, <laughs> this side, other side is just desert. So, uh, so those ghats, the water doesn't reach those ghats. So we have built a ghat where there's always water. Hmm? So, uh, so we have built this as a memorial dedicated to Srila Prabhupada as Prabhupada Ghat. Did you see? You like it? We are happy that you liked it. Okay, so thank you again for your your visit. I hope we are devotees are taking good care of you and if there's any inconvenience, please, any shortcomings, forgive our devotees. They are doing their best to look after you. So far, so good. Are you okay? You are right. Because you are city folks, spoiled, and yeah, your comfort zones and. Uh, so, but here is a, a rural a rural setting and the fields and cows and a river and but you don't get this in Bangalore, right? The concrete forest complete concrete forest. So uh, I think you could do some fresh air breathing, breathe some fresh air here and uh, relax. Maybe breathe some extra air, you won't get that in back and forth. And, uh, All right, I will.